Well, hey guys, good morning, beautiful people. Um, I just wanted to say that it was interesting, the um, verse of the day today on the Bible app. <clears throat> I wanted to read it because there's a lot of deception out there right now, guys. Um, you know, people are saying, someone emailed me today saying that has the rapture already happened? No, guys, the rapture hasn't happened yet. Um, and I know there's like things out there where people are hearing trumpets. I don't know where that's coming from. <clears throat> I know in a previous message, God did tell me that um, we will hear trumpets soon. And I don't know if he means like the main trumpets before the rapture. Um, so I'm not sure, but I thought that was interesting. And you know, God likes to give lots of warnings before he actually does anything. So there's a lot of people claiming out there, you know, that they're hearing from Jesus and stuff. So <clears throat> it's important to test all spirits. And I, I test them myself, believe me, I'm, I'm not perfect at all. And um, I always pray in my head and get confirmation, you know, with another scripture that the Lord gives me and he tells me to post. But he put it on my heart this morning to post this. So I don't know, maybe there's some confusion out there. Um, so again, I'm just obedient to Jesus. So I'm gonna read it. It's 1 John 4, 1 through 4, and I think 6 through 21 was like the verse of the day. Um, I don't know. It, it should be, I, I don't know. I just copied and pasted it, and this is what I got. So, um, But it said, Beloved, <clears throat> do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. By this you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God does not hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. He who does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was manifested towards us, that God has sent his only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. So no one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love has been perfected in us. By this we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us of he has given given us of his spirit and we have seen and testify that the father has sent the son as savior of the world whoever confesses that Jesus is the son of God God abides in him and he in God and we have known and believe the love that God has for us God is love and he who abides in love abides in God and God in him Love has been perfected among us in this, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment. But he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We love him because he who first loved us. If someone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment we have from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. So guys, I think that message of, like I said, the Lord speaks through messages of the day. I have the Bible app. I just bought the Geneva Bible too. I haven't read it yet. Um, someone just sent me like an Amazon link my friend Cassie. So thank you, Cassie, for that. Um, and so I just ordered that, but I don't know. Guys, you know, I just listened and he put that on my heart this morning to share with, with people out there. So I know there's gonna be a lot more people coming, you know, confessing words from Jesus and he's pouring his spear out on a lot of people. And we just have to test everything and take it to Jesus, every word that is spoken, we take to Jesus because, you know, there's still some confusion and the devil, you know, he gets like 
5% of it's correct and then like 5% wrong or something. I don't know the exact numbers, I'm not a math person, but um, anyway, I felt that was important to share. And you know, as, as someone was also asking me about tribulation. You know, God has told me it hasn't started yet. However, it is coming. I mean, to the point where they've already done the new world order, you know, it's behind the scenes. And so when I think he's speaking to those prophets, because I feel Jesus in them, he is telling them it's starting. So starting meaning the players are forming, kind of like Gog. You guys, he told me about Gog and Magog war. Um, and he said it was starting and going to launch soon. And that was like a month ago. Well, the players were forming and then the players have changed because Israel or not Israel, um, Turkey got defeated. And then Iran took its place and stuff. So in, in previous messages, he's told me. So I don't think it can actually, he told me it wasn't going to start until the sun goes black. Um, it's darkness, like when the darkness falls and when Obama rises in power, like on the scene. Um, so, and, and the rapture, the rapture is before darkness. Um, I have been told in several messages that darkness is not for my elect or my children. To me, that makes a lot of sense because think about it, little babies, little children, three years old, and then evil lurking outside. I, I just don't see a loving God, you know, keeping us here for, for darkness. And, and the ones that are like wishing tribulation and, and not understanding that God has already paid, Jesus already paid for that. And there is no wrath for his, the ones who believe in him and trust in him. Um, so it's not too late, guys. You know, ask Jesus to come into your life. Ask him to forgive you for your sins. And those are the new people, guys. Repentance, again, is a change of mind if you look at the root word. So it's not about, you know, trusting in Jesus 100% and then worrying, oh, no, I must, I must say I'm so sorry for what I just did today. Guys, because what if, what if there's a day that goes by that you forget to say sorry for that sin? Are you not saved? So you are saved. It's your faith. It is your trust in Jesus Christ, okay, alone. It's not what you do. It's what he did for us already. Now, it's not an excuse to go out keeping sinning because God is holy. And so you walk in the spirit. You're not going to want to sin because you love Jesus and you want to please Jesus. But again, we all fall short from his glory. You know, we've all gotten mad at somebody or said things we don't, we didn't want to say at the time we went in our flesh. And I don't believe Jesus is going to condemn us for that because we love him and he knows our hearts. But anyway, have a blessed day. And I just wanted to get that out there for you. The verse of the day. Talk to you soon.